Grade 7 Math number 10.1, Random and Non-Random Sampling. When information is being gathered about a group, the entire group of objects, individuals, or events is called the population. A sample is part of the population that is chosen to represent the entire group. Last year in sixth grade, we learned about the different sampling methods, random, convenience, and systematic. In this chapter, we're going to focus on random sampling. So for convenience and systematic, you can go back to the Joanne School Grade 6 Math videos and see 7.7 .7 and 7.8, and it'll give you more information about those type of samples, okay? A random sample is a type of sample that each individual or object in the entire population has an equal chance of being selected. When a sample is unfair or doesn't represent the population fairly, it's a biased sample. If everyone put their name on a piece of paper, and then put it in a hat to be selected, that would be random sampling. You wouldn't know whose name was going to be selected. But if a few people put their names on many pieces of paper or on bigger pieces of paper, that would be easier to grab, that would be biased. It wouldn't be fair to everybody's name, would it? So random or biased? Bob wants to know the favorite type of music in his town, so he surveys only senior citizens. Well, that would be biased because they only represent a part of society. What if he surveys every third house on each block? Well, that would be random because anyone could live in those houses. What if he surveys people leaving a grocery store? Well, that would be random too because everyone buys groceries unless it's a certain type of grocery store in a certain part of town where only certain people shop. Then it would be biased. What about if he only surveys women's opinions? Well, that would be biased, too, because they only represent part of society. So there's bias in survey questions, too. A survey could say, do you want to waste tax dollars building a new skate park? Well, that would make people nervous about saying yes, because they would feel like they're giving the wrong answer. That would be a biased question. Or, do you feel cats are better pets than dogs? That's a biased question also. That's not fair to ask somebody that question. You should just say, what's your favorite type of pet? That would be unbiased. Or, here's a biased one. Do you prefer gas-guzzling big cars or environmentally safe small cars? That's a biased question because people would be afraid to answer big cars even if they really liked big cars. So remember, to get an accurate survey, make sure the questions are unbiased. There can be many ways to select a sample from a population and random sampling must represent the entire population, okay? So, it's like a roll of dice. It could be any answer. That would be random, okay? I could spin my wheel and it could land on any number. That would be random. Unless I put a weight on the fingertip so it only landed on the lower numbers because the tip was weighted down, that would be biased, wouldn't it? All right, we're going to continue talking about random sampling, and I'll see you in 10.2. Bye.